made a quick little dowel jig on the drill press. I just drilled the holes for the dowel. And I've got this 5 16th doweling. Um, it's one and a half inch, which is plenty long for this project to join the door pieces together. So that's going to work just great. It's a rough but trusty little dowel jig, and the way it works is there is an A side and a B side. So you can see. You follow the pattern here. I'm using side B of my jig, lining up the edges with the edges of the outside facing board. This is going to be the outside of the door frame. And I just put the dowels in here just to make sure that I knew I was using side B. In fact, I was. Notice also I've marked a three. This is the third side I'm working on. That corresponds to my bottom, or my bottom piece. Well, I guess it is my bottom piece. That also has a three on it, so I know which side is facing which direction. So when you join these up, so you know the next set of holes will be right here. Side A will be facing the wide board and we'll clamp that and drill that next. So I'm doing my dry fit uh, with all the pieces for the door, including the plywood, the thin plywood that goes in the middle. Um, this stuff is kind of tricky to cut. You need to make sure you do a zero clearance trick on your table saw if you're going to cut this kind of material. Otherwise, it can get pretty dangerous. You can see how thin that is. I'm not going to do include that in the video. Um, there was a little bit of acrobatics involved, but you can definitely um, search on YouTube for zero clearance, uh, cutting thin material, and you'll find lots of videos uh, and tips on, on how to do that if you don't already know how. But everything's fitting together pretty well. Now that the plywood is cut, pretty much this will, as I assemble this, the first thing obviously is to join the corners up with the doweling, using the doweling, glue them together, and then these will just, once that's dry, we can pop these in and then do these center pieces. And so they'll just stack up like that as I pop them in and we'll glue those in place when that time comes and we should have a pretty decent looking door.
with trim like this, instead of clamping, I create tension between two points using that stick. Not too much tension, just very light pressure so that it keeps it in place. It also helps if you've got a bit of a bow in in the piece of trim that you're using. Keeps it nice and straight while it's gluing up. 